Hello everyone, hope I find you well. I come today with a message titled, There is a purpose for your tunnel. There is a purpose for your tunnel. Tunnels are there as a way of connection, linkage from one point to the other. And at times God allows us to go through some tunnels and some tunnels they've got light and some tunnels are dark. When we walk through those dark tunnels, uh, these are times that, you know, we go through in life and everything seems not to be working. Everything is just, you know, painful, stagnant, and we can't find maybe a reason to, to continue with life. Everything is stagnant. But we need to know that in everything, there is a purpose. It is through those dark moments that when we continue to trust in the Lord, when we are resilient, when we continue to run our race, we will find a breakthrough. As the saying goes, there is light at the end of the tunnel. I want to tell you that our Lord Jesus Christ he is the light of the world. And when he says that, I am with you wherever you are. I will not leave you nor forsake you. Even in those dark times, in those dark tunnels, Jesus is with us. He will be shining his glory. He will be shining his light and leading us through it all. And tunnels are there as a way or a sign of, of, you know, breaking every barrier because those who are into construction, when they find that, oh, there is an, a, a barrier here, there is a mountain and they want to create a connection, a passage, you know, to the other side, they will dig through the mountain. So the tunnels are a sign that, you know, God has made some breakthroughs for us. He has brought down walls. He has brought down mountains for us to pass through. Even though it might be dark, it might be painful, it might be taking long, but we will get to the other side. God will use those tunnels at times to work miracles in that secret place. As we go under, because tunnels are, are built under, so at times we have to go under, you know, for God to work in us, through us, and create whatever, you know, the new person in us, to create new purpose of life whilst we are under and not over the bridge where everyone can see. Because at times when... God is working with us and is doing something great that everyone can see. You know, that can create enemies and uh, people, or, you know, the enemy wanting to stop us. But at times, you know, God will take us. Underneath, we have to go through under and walk there and allow God to work in us, transform us, change us whilst we are under the walking in the tunnels. Why tunnels? Tunnels in life in general, they are constructed because they can withstand tides, current, storms, and, you know, they, they, they've got that strength to, to carry whatever that passes through because they don't need any, any like, weight, unlimited weight. So they've got this uh, caring capacity. So this is what God um, is building inside of us when we go through the tunnels. So do not cry. Do not say, oh my God, I'm going through these, these tunnels. Uh, when am I going to come out? There is a purpose for that route. God will, will choose that path for you for a reason and is taking you through the tunnel 
to connect you to the other side. Hallelujah. All we need to do is to continue to trust in the Lord. He is the light that lights our path. Hallelujah. So I read to you Psalms 23. Glory to God. Psalms 23, it says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He is shepherding your life. He is watching over you. He is providing for you. Hallelujah. So there is nothing that you will lack. Even in that tunnel, the Lord will still provide for you. The Lord will still protect you. Amen. Verse 2 says, He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. So friend, brother, sister, son, daughter, when you find yourself walking through those dark tunnels, know that Jesus is with you. Fear not. His rod and his staff, they comfort you. They will give you strength. Hallelujah. So fear not. Verse 5. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Your enemies might rejoice to say, "Ha, ah, Hey. I think nothing is working. Can, do you see her yeah, these days? She's into hiding. Hey, we don't see her. What's happening? I think things are not working for her. Yet in those times of hiding, God is working out everything for your good. Amen. He's preparing a table before you in the presence of your enemies. And at times you do it in those dark moments. You know, he has to separate you. He has to take you to other places. And all you need to say is, yes, Lord. Yes to your will. Have your way. Amen. He's anointing you. He's pouring a fresh anointing and uh, your cup will run over. Remember that his goodness and mercy will continue to follow you all the days of your life. So wherever you find yourself uh, placed by God, the, whichever route, whichever path, know that God has a purpose for your tunnel. God has a purpose and is not done with you. Remember, you are born to shine. Do not let anyone or anything to talk you out of your light, out of your purpose. Do not let anyone or anything to dim your light because you are born to shine. The Lord is your light. His glory continues to cover you in Jesus' name. Amen. Be blessed.